I was wondering if people with seizures, can they drive? So driving is a really big issue for most people who have seizures, especially as they come of driving age. And the simple answer is yes. For the vast majority of people with epilepsy, you can drive. Um, there are some considerations as to how well the epilepsy is controlled um, and what the circumstances are that are likely to cause seizures or favor them. Um, so you have to look at, one, the state guidelines of the state you're in, in terms of what the medical board or the Department of Motor Vehicles has determined is a guideline for driving. Most states have anywhere from three to 12 month waiting periods after you've had a seizure before you can be allowed to drive. Um, there's a lot of details to that, which sounds pretty harsh if you think a 12 month period, but most of the states have also medical boards that will consider circumstances, and you can certainly ask your doctor to write a letter if there are circumstances whereby you shouldn't have to wait. Um, if, for instance, you've been directed to get off your medication because you've been seizure-free for a period of time and you have a seizure, you don't have to wait once you get back on your medications. Um, so if you're having a seizure when you're under the direction of a medical a medicine change or taper of your medicine, again, you don't have to wait any long period of time before getting back on the road. Um, we try to advise people to use common sense. And in general, I like to advise young drivers to impose upon themselves a Cinderella license so that they're not out driving late at night, um, tired. Because I think sleep deprivation and being tired is probably one of the most potent triggers for seizures. And to be driving is not a good idea if you have epilepsy and it's late at night. If you do get tired and you are driving and it's 2 in the morning, pull over take a rest, take a nap. It'll probably save your and perhaps someone else's life. The other part that is an important consideration is texting and cell phones and drinking and driving. In large studies across the country, those have been shown to be 150 times more likely to be the cause of an accident than having epilepsy, which ranks at about the same percentage as having diabetes or having uh, cardiovascular disease or any other number of conditions that are common medically. And in fact, people with epilepsy rarely have seizures while driving. So I think if you keep your wits about you, keep well rested, avoid triggers that might cause seizures, avoid cell phone usage, avoid drinking and driving, that you're less likely than other people to have a see an accident while driving, a seizure while driving. Um, and so, yes, you can go for your license, you can participate in driver's ed um, within certain guidelines that I think if you check with your doctor, they can easily give you.